Hey guys, Proper English here. Today I'm going to teach you about decoders. We're going to see how they work, and I'll show you this fast and compact design that I came up with this afternoon. And I think you're going to like it. It's funny because I came up with this, I showed it to one of my friends on the RDF, and his first response was, oh hey, one of our other friends came up with something just like this. And I'm not really surprised by that because it's a design that just makes sense, and I'm sure that many people have done this before. So let's take a look at how this thing works, or what it does, I should say. We'll do how this works a little bit later. So I've got a binary input up here. So we've got eight, four, two, and one. And then it runs through the decoder and comes out as a decimal output. So we've got zero all the way through nine. All right, so now let's try putting an input in. So we'll turn four on and we'll turn one on. So that's zero, one, zero, one, or five. And we can see that we get a five over here. And that's just how it should work. Now, we're going to ignore some of this craziness for now and jump over to a simple example of what's going on in this decoder. All right, so I've set up a demonstration that will allow us to take a look at how decoders work. This is set to detect a binary three. So a binary three is zero, zero, one, one. All right, and we can see that now the torch turns on. And the reason that's on is because none of these inputs over here can power this line, right? So we're inverting the input up here, all right? And so because these guys are on, this torch turns off and the repeater doesn't get powered, the repeater can't power the line. The opposite thing is happening over here because these inputs are off. These torches can come on, power these torches, and these torches can't power the line. So we get an output of one, and that detects our three. And we can easily change this to detect another number. Let's kill this repeater over here, throw a piece of redstone down, and throw a torch down. And so now the output is off, all right? That's because we're inputting a three, but we're set to detect a one. Now let's change that. We'll input a one by turning this guy over here off. So now only the one bit is on, and we can see the output is on. And that is how a decoder works. We're just matching up the input with a detection system over here, all right? And it's that simple. So now let's take a look at what's going on in the decoder that makes this one fast and compact. All right, so let's take a look at what I've got here. Now, rather than going through and rebuilding the whole thing, I'm going to focus on the little tricks that I use to keep it fast because I think that's a better way to do it. You'll understand what's going on and why I did certain things rather than um, just seeing how I did certain things. So we can take a look over here at this repeater. Okay, so when I send power into this repeater, I don't use the output of the repeater to continue the line up here. Instead, I run the line independently above the repeater. Okay, so that way I can still use the repeater to power this line, but it doesn't slow down everything downstream of it. Now, when we have more than two of these repeaters in a row, it gets tricky. Two can be done, but three, it, uh, it doesn't work so well. So what I do is I use one repeater to power two adjacent lines, okay? So both of these need to be powered by this line with a repeater. So what I can do is I can just pull the power off of this line and hit both at the same time, and it's that simple. So those are the two things that you'll need to know if you wanna build one of these. Like I said, there's a download in the description, so feel free to check that out because Sometimes it's helpful to really go in and try different inputs and see how it changes things and, you know, just play with it that way. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'm happy to answer. And, uh, and yeah, it's, uh, it's really good. If you have questions, definitely ask them because I like to clarify things and make sure you understand it perfectly. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. And I'll see you guys next time.